Welcome everybody to today's um, video. Um, and I've had these already for a few days. I just haven't gotten around to making a video, so I just wanted to make a video on it really quick. Um, let you guys know I have two of the three um, of Nike's Impulse Pack that's coming out for La Copa America for um, Euro. I don't know if they're calling it 2020 or 2021 because it was supposed to take place last summer and they had the neighborhood pack was released last summer that was supposed to be for that tournament but as you know with uh coronavirus everything got pushed back so now we have the impulse pack and i don't have the phantom gt just because it's not one of my favorite boots um so i just haven't gotten around to reviewing it but i maybe might in the future um, but I'm gonna start off first with showing you guys the tiempo. Here it is. I think the color is great. It is a pretty cool color. Um, I think, yeah, aquamarine, which is actually my birthstone, but my birthstone doesn't look anything like this. So that's kind of funny. I don't know where, where they get the aquamarine from. And this is the first time that I've gotten a boot that it looks like out of shape which is really weird in this area i don't know if it was just smashed or something but hopefully wearing it it'll straighten it up but it looks very oddly shaped but, but i mean that's what's going to happen when you have kangaroo leather so with that being said if you're looking for a leather boot something more modern it's supposed to be like a the tempo supposed to be like their heritage line their old school the, to compete with like you know uh the king platinum I wouldn't say the Copa Mundial only because this is a very very modern take um, still very comfortable boot you could take it right out of the box you can wear it um, it's gonna mold to your foot even if it has the mesh the quad fit mesh or whatever that's called that's in the inside a lot of people did not like that a lot of people think it is too fancy too updated um, but I still think it's a good boot and you know if you're into leather boots you know you could definitely go with the tempo and also this one they saying this might be the last um, colorway of the tempo legend 8 that we're gonna see um, I love the 7 I have it right here I blacked this one out which I gotta do some touching up because I didn't do it correctly the first time um, this is before I blacked it out before I knew um, how to do that stuff but this is definitely one of my favorite ones and it's in my um, arsenal of, of boots when I wear. Um, okay, so moving on from the tempo, um, we have the Mercurio. Um, this thing, this thing is beautiful right, to me. I love it, I love it. And at first, at first I didn't know if I would like the Mercurio only because they changed the technology from being like the fly in it. They've, they've totally revamped the boot once again. And to me, that just shows um, how, how, how Nike, they always want to innovate and change their product. You know, you take something that you're just like, this is the best version. This is the best model. And then they can keep changing it time and time again. And it's still a great boot. Um, this, this is the same as a Superfly. People might not agree. People, you can disagree all you want. Um, but the only difference is the collar. If you're looking for something um, uh, tight still, something that's gonna, you now it don't make you feel fast, but it'll make you feel fast, if that makes sense. Um, sometimes just the way someone feels is what matters. I don't believe in boot by position, all that nonsense. I don't believe in that, but I do believe in, in, in comfort and uh, what you're comfortable in, what you feel good in, that's gonna determine how well you can play. I really do believe in that. Um, so if you want something, you know, a narrow, if you have a narrow foot, looking for something that has an aggressive stud pattern, which means when you make cuts, all that stuff, it's gonna be there for you. It's gonna help keep you on your feet. You're not gonna be slipping all over the field. Um, this is definitely the boot for you. Um, again, just because if you don't feel like you're a fast player or consider yourself a fast player, doesn't does not mean that you can't wear this because what's the best thing in, in 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 a soccer boot something that you know you almost feel like you're playing barefoot that you're playing with your feet 
and this is the perfect boot for that um to me anyway so i love it um i didn't go with the collar this time i have plenty of superflies i have the the dream speed uh cristiano ronaldo one i have the superfly eight if you saw in my last video i think it was my last video um so yeah i just wanted a, a mercurial version give these a try um but yeah also this if you have a wider foot a little bit wider foot this is probably going to be your best option now if we do have some if this is even tight for you you could try the phantom um gt which comes in a very bright colorway as well in the impulse pack um almost like this neon color that's right there in the mercurio uh, it's basically that color and that's more like a, a midfielder's boot they want to say you know that's going to have give you that control it has those um one things i forgot what they're called on the boot to me the the the, the phantom gt just felt weird I, I can't describe it it made my feet feel like i was doing this and it wasn't comfortable maybe i gotta give them another shot maybe i gotta break them in because i really didn't break them in i just tried them on and i was like this is this boot isn't for me and i really don't say that because you know i thought that about the mercurial at first but then once you play in it once you break it in it's it feels amazing it feels great and that being said like since they've changed it it still it still feels great one little tip again that i give everybody put on your shoe i promise this will work put on your shoe if if you, if you, let's say you get them and you want to wear them right away you don't have time to break them in get your boot whatever one you're going to wear this works pretty good i think it looks it works a little bit better on leather if i'm being honest put on your boots put it on your feet get your blow dryer and just stand over your foot and just blow dry the whole area all around while you're moving your toes while you're moving your foot you know sometimes i will even um get down on my toe and bend forward that kind of you know it, it, it what it does is helping heat up the the boot plus it's moving to your foot now the reason why i say to do that is because when you are playing all is essentially to break in the boot all you're doing is is creating that heat you know within your foot um when you're playing and running around and that's at basically aiding the boot into molding to your foot so if you want to speed up that process you know it's kind of like the hot water trick i don't believe in that because i don't want to soak my cleats in water of course um so that's why i kind of use the um the blow dryer technique and for me it works perfect it works great um and you know i can take them right on to game day and they're ready molded to my foot and perfect for um game time so guys with that being said if you're new here subscribe um if you like this video give me a like drop a comment if you'd like to see anything that i'm not doing or help me out anyway leave me a comment um and we'll see you guys in the next one peace